Hi everybody, Tony Day. I just wanted to take a minute uh, before I go uh, to answer this question, which I was sure this was going to happen because um, I use the width to divide um, in order to get the the crop factor for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in relation to full frame um, video. The question is, pardon me, sir, I may be wrong, but I thought the crop factor of any sensor is actually the ratio of that image sensor's diameter to a full frame sensor. If we go by that crop factor of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K will be 2.0. Okay, so you're right, Thibaut. Um, Thibaut, I'm, I'm, or is it Tebo? I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, please, please correct me on your name because I'd like to be able to say it correctly. Uh, but um, the the thing is that we're not really interested, at least I'm not interested in the entire size of the full frame camera because you're not going to be shooting on a full frame camera. So you're shooting like the A7S or whatever. Like you're not getting the full three two. Uh, sensor are you it's not shot in 3.2 it's shot in like 16 by 9 or cinema 4k or whatever right so this is what i'm looking at okay i can understand that if you're a photographer right and you're going to be using the full size of the sensor then absolutely you're you're totally right man um however like i said i'm doing like a shorthand version of it and i did mention in the video if you read the uh uh text that if you want to go by the diagonals, totally go for it. But for me to be able to figure out like on the fly or quickly to know like what I'm, what look I'm going to get in regards to video, doing the width is totally fine. And I'll show you. Okay, here's a spreadsheet which I know you all love, and um, I tried to put this together as quickly as I could. It took me about uh, like five minutes, and I have the full frame 35 millimeter Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and the GH5S four third sensor. Okay. So um, basically what I did is I have the full values of the sensors. Then I calculated a 17.9 crop to it, which is totally normal, and a 16.9 crop. This is assuming that the sensor is using as much of it as possible to get these different aspect ratios, which is, to me, really, really important when I'm thinking about video specifically because I'm going to be shooting in a video format, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I hope that people didn't feel misled when I said you could do it this way. I'm talking specifically in that video about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and relating to full frame. Okay, so here's the diagonals, which if you don't know, it's a square root of the length squared plus the width squared. Okay, so that should give you the diagonal of any of these sensors. Okay, so then we're going to go over the crop factor, which is the uh, diagonals divided by each other. Okay, so... Um, for this one, it's the full frame, 35 millimeter divided against itself. For the 17.9 and 16.9 crops, uh, this tells you basically what the crop factor is of the full frame um, 35 millimeter and the 17.9, 16.9 crops. So if you are shooting full frame and you're shooting one of these aspect ratios, you are cropping, right? There's a crop factor to that. And especially further, if you're shooting Super 35 on a full frame, which a lot of people do anyway. So that that crop factor would even be more, but I'm not going to talk about that. So then if you look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, it has a 17.9 aspect ratio sensor. So if you look here, this is the exact same value that we got by dividing the widths. This is what I'm doing, okay? This is how I'm figuring it out. Uh, shorthand. So if that was misleading to you guys, I really do apologize, but you, you got to understand that I'm trying to get I don't want to make this too heady right by by doing video it's it's different than photography because in video there are other factors the sensor sizes are usually very different the uh you know you'll get sensors that are in a 17 9 16 9 4 thirds all these different aspect ratios but you know if you're trying to take a, a let's say it was a 1 1 it would say it was a 36 by 36 camera and you're trying to relate a 17.9 video recording from that camera to even full frame 35 millimeter, if you're shooting 17.9, they'll be the exact same, right? Even though it's taller on the 1.1, one one. It, do, it doesn't matter, right? Because your actual recording is going to be determined by whatever the aspect ratio is. So this is what I was doing. I really do apologize if you felt like it was misleading at all, which I, I really don't want to do that. Um, but the, the, the point that I was trying to make is that you can get pretty good ballpark figures for figuring it out. I mean, there's so many variables with this stuff that any of this is, you know, if, if the, the camera is actually cropping in further than any of this and they, nobody tells you, it, it's not going to be 100% accurate regardless. So 
um, this is just meant to get you an idea of what it'll look like. It'll never look exactly, exactly, exactly the same, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, closer than no information whatsoever. And again, uh, shorthand, you know, the, the, the widths does work. I'm not the only one who does it to do shorthand like that. There's a lot of people who do it. If you want to be, um, you know, someone who shoot, who, uh, looks at it from the diagonals, then use this kind of way of doing it. I'm just proving to you here that it, it would have been the same regardless of whether I was using the diagonals or not. Okay. Uh, hope this, uh, helped you out and thanks.